Oh, don't be scared, Horsey. Whew. I know we haven't been here before. This is new territory for us, for us both. But you know what? Whenever I face new worries like these, I use the Wesley Quadrilateral. And I use a little thing called STIR to help me remember. Scripture, tradition, experience, and reason. Using these four pillars, we will get the best Christian decision possible. And when I can't remember the Wesley Quadrilateral, even though I use the easy STIR system, I keep a little Bible bookmark in my Bible, which is on my person at all times. So you ready, Horsey, to get out of here? Let's blaze some trails, y'all. It seems like you're still a little bit scared. Maybe I should walk you through the Wesley Quadrilateral. So, remember Stir? We could think of a scripture, I don't know, Romans 5 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. And you know, tradition, John Wesley did a lot of circuit riding. And I bet that took him some pretty far off places. And you know what? Experience tells us that I'm a great rider and you're a great horse. So it's a reasonable assumption to make that we will be safe on this journey. So let's take these trails and put a blaze upon them and we will both get the satisfaction that we deserve. You ready? Ow! Oh, don't get spooked there. Don't get, I said don't get spooked. No, you gotta do it like this. Can, I, can you see you do that? Can I see you do that? Yeah, there you go. Hey! Hey, man. It's me from high school. Uh, how you doing these days? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing pretty good myself, you know. You know, I uh, sell a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but uh, you know, you know how it goes. I, I buy low, sell high. I, think I sell all kinds of things. I got some stuff on me right now. I got some stuff in my car. Big business, man. I got McLaren's. Have you ever heard of those speakers? Yeah, they're like four grand. You just come up to my white van around the corner here, man. I'll sell my out of the back for like 150. Yeah. But, you know, I also got, you know, anything you might need. I got your uppers, I got your downers. I got anything from Adderall to horse tranquilizers. But I can obviously see you and me in the horse tranquilizers. What's that? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, he shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Don't be preaching to me about your Bible. Don't be judging me. I don't need this. All right? You can just, just take that back to where you brought it from. This is why I don't watch those TV shows and that internet stuff. I don't go into those churches. This is why I've never gone into a church. Never will go into a church. Man, 
I thought you were dope, man, but I'm just gonna take my McLaren someplace else. I think this is as good a spot as any. You taste like apples and carrots. <laughs> I, I wanted to tell you, we've been together for a while and I, I sort of like you. And I think we're ready to take it to the next level. I think we're ready to saddle up. No. Am I not good enough for you? What? Is there something wrong with me? Oh my gosh. You think I'm ugly. You think I'm stupid and ugly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Are you throwing the Bible at me? The Bible? Really? Okay, this is real life. This is a real opportunity for you. Listen, if you can't handle my fierce, independent womanhood, then maybe you just need to get out and go, okay? Just, just leave, okay? Just get out. Yeah, yeah, take your Bible, go. Oh my gosh. You will not believe what just happened. Where am I? What? What? Hey, 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 look. Why, why are you running like that? Because I'm a horse. No, no you're not, you're I, a human. I just got into a horse riding accident. Of course I'm a horse. No, no, you are a human. Oh, okay. Horsey, you've got some explaining to do. Hey, why the long face? Yeah, I understand. It's been a real mess at work. I had to let Johnny go because he's always been horsing around on company time never getting things done, and the business is really starting to go downhill. That's why I'm here. I had Johnny covering that week of work that you wanted off during the summer when you were going to be at some Christian summer camp or something. I'm going to need you to work that week. Listen, I don't like it either. Just make it easy on yourself and cancel camp and work. Don't give me that honor of the Sabbath, junk. You work on Sundays all the time. 
I'm sick of you Christians only being Christians when it's convenient for you. I'm trying to run a business here, and if you want to be a part of it, you're going to work during camp week. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Well, I guess I can respect that. But if I can't count on you, then I'm going to have to fire you. Don't bother getting off your high horse or coming into work tomorrow. scripture that you gave me and I'm finding it really relevant actually to what's going on with us so I'm sorry oh, that must be the pizza hi it'll be 1387 hey you I can't believe you're here so I've got such great news I took all of my drugs. No, no, no. No, no, you didn't let me finish. I took all of my drugs and I flushed them down the toilet. What you said to me today, it just made such great sense. The scripture that you pointed out, I honestly think that you've helped me make better decisions for the rest of my life. So I just want to thank you. All right, pizza. Hey man, so I figured out that I have no business skills whatsoever, so you're unfired. Do I smell pizza? How many people did you help with the Wesleyan Quadrilateral today? What is going on here, you two-time and sports wrangler? Who are you? I'm your boyfriend. This is my horse. I can't believe I kissed a horse! And I can't believe I ever trusted one! You tried to steal my life! Wait, what? I know we haven't been here before. Ooh, the Wesley Quadrilateral. Scripture, tradition, you're a great horse. Experience, and reason, a great rider. <laughs> wow, those are some sketchy trails you were riding on. I mean, I was a drug dealer and I stayed out of that neck of the woods. Well, I was under a lot of pressure from my boss and my girlfriend, and I just wanted to try something new. And then my horse tried to steal my life. I think I was gonna fire you today if you decided to go to camp instead of working. Fire me? I'll work if I have to. I don't need to go to camp. No, the horse stood up for your convictions, and through the Wesleyan Quadrilateral, I know that going to camp is the right call for you. And your horse had the audacity to refuse my offer of illicit materials. And he helped me to turn my life around in less than a day. It's Mr. Mister, that horse of mine. You know what? You know what? I forgive you, horsey. Your horse wasn't trying to steal your life. He was just keeping it warm for a while, till you got back. Well, this morning I was confusing myself with a horse. How, how can you confuse a horse with me? Yeah, man. I really shouldn't overthink things. Yeah, sometimes overthinking things just makes everything terrible. I mean, looking at things through scripture, tradition, experience, and reason, it really allows you to look at things from a theological standpoint, get the best conclusion. You know, I don't know if I'll ever be able to trust this horse again, but I'm glad we're all together. Good 